Kaniac here. Hello, mediocre animal. You're wondering how to copy patterns in the channel rack. And some people are giving you some advice, but let me show you a better way. So this is what you got, right? You built a little loop. And uh, now you want to make some copies of it and then chain some of these copies. Well, the best way of doing that is to do that in the playlists. Um, if you're in pattern mode, we'll just play the pattern. But if you're in song mode, you can put multiple patterns here and I'll play in a row. So put your patterns down. Now you want to bring, you have four copies of the same thing and you want to put in some variations. To do that, you select the one that you want to change. You uh, left, yeah, it's left click. Left click on here and you do make unique. When you do that, it will automatically copy everything for you to pattern two. So now you can edit any pattern by double clicking on it. And, uh, well, or just by going to it. And now you can make your change. Uh, actually, probably want to have it like this. Let's have a look here. So let's make this one unique as well. Let's see. Yeah, that sounds okay. Let's make this one unique. And then you could continue the process. Uh, a really nice way is using Control B. Um, first, you want to select here how much you want to move it over, and then if you need cross Control B, it will uh, make a copy. And then uh, you could do the same thing again if you want to change something. Just click Make Unique, and it will automatically make a copy for you. Okay, then the question about uh, undo's. Um, so um, basically you have control Z is to undo and control alt Z is to go forward again. So if I make a bunch of changes here and then control Z. Oh, well. Uh, so control control alt Z is for undoing. So now I'm going through the list of the control uh, alt sets, and if I want to go forward again, I do control Z. Now there are, as you can see, it's only doing four right now here in history, and that's because of the setting under general settings. You have your maximum undo levels, and you have your undo knob tweaks. Let's show the knob tweaks first. It's pretty straightforward. If I make a change here with this on. It means I can undo it. As you see, it jumped back. If I switch this off, then I cannot undo it any longer. Nothing is happening. So that's that. Uh, I like to have it on. So if I accidentally tweak a para parameter, I could just click Control Z and then put it back to where it was. Then your maximum undo levels. Let's put this on 200. That's what I usually have it on. Now let's make some changes here. Put some stuff on. Put some stuff on, blah, 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 blah. And now let's go backwards, control alt Z. Let's open history. As you can see, now it has a lot more. So we can go all the way back. So control alt Z again is for going back. Control Z is for going forward. So of course, when you're at the top and you're using control Z, it, or, or like uh, if this were empty and you've only made one change, uh, we can uh, we can empty it out. Now it's empty. So if we just only have one change in here, then of course if you press Control Z, you're just flipping back and forth. But as soon as you make multiple, like every action you do will create something in the in the history here. Uh, 
and of course control Z only flips between the last one so to go back it's control alt Z and to go forward it's control Z again but your history here depends on your maximum undo levels you can set this to quite a large range the higher it's set the more uh, memory of course FL Studio will use so if you set it too high you'll have lower performance so just to play around with it also keep in mind that there is auto save as well my auto backup is set on five minutes every auto save your complete history will be reset so if you are making some changes and you happen to want to press the undo button right after it made an automatic backup it's not going to work because you'll have a, a reset so if that bugs you uh you know either you'll have to be forced to open the backup um backups get saved with the history in them so like if you save a project file your entire history of steps will leave so like uh let's see here um let's go into the piano roll let's add these notes uh and now let's save it now if we would reopen it we would still have our history here um can i yeah, I'd, if I would reopen right now, my screen cap would stop recording. I have a problem there with my audio, so I'm not going to do that. So, um, yeah, if you have autosave on and uh, it bugs you that it resets when it does autosave, then you just have to set this on like 15 minutes or don't switch it off. That would be stupid. At least have it on 15 minutes because you know, if something goes wrong and you don't have autosave on, you could lose hours and hours of work, which has happen to every FL Studio user so it's nice to have auto save uh, backups are created in a f folder you always have a backup folder and there it creates them it doesn't create infinite copies it's only like 20 or something and then it starts overriding again so if you have to go really far back like 20 projects back it won't be there in, in there anymore Anyway, I hope this uh, has helped you. Can you check out?